Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer on this day after Christmas. It's a special day. It's a Saint Stephen Day. Saint St Stephen, who was deacon and a and a martyr, and we remember him today. Um, so the reading is from the Book of Wisdom, which uh, many of you may not have, but I will read to you because it's a a, a book of um, um, from the Apocrypha, and it's a it's a good book and. Uh, so today's reading might be a little bit different, so uh, that you can't follow along, but it's a good reading. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my Lord, mouth shall declare Lord, your praise. Glory to the Father, Lord, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, unto us a child is born. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalm. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, unto us a child is born. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication. Because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me. The grips of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. And I was brought very low, and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul. For the Lord has treated you well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord and in the land of the living. I believed even when I said I have been brought very low. In my distress I said no one can be trusted. How, can, how shall I repay the Lord for all the good things that he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all your people. Precious is the sight of the Lord in the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Many of those words may sound very familiar as they are part of our liturgy at church. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, through the passion and resurrection of your Son, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be with us on our pilgrimage and help us offer you a sacrifice of praise, fulfill our vows, and glorify you in the presence of all your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, on this St. Stephen's Day, uh, we read from the Book of Wisdom, from the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 7. But the righteous man, though he die early, will be at rest. For old age is not honored for a length of time, nor numbered by number of years, but understanding in gray hairs for men. Uh, but understanding is gray hairs for men, and a blameless life is ripe with old age. There are one who pleased God and who loved by him. And while living among sinners, he was taken up. He was caught up, lest evil change his understanding or guile deceive his soul. For the fascination of the wickedness obscures what is good, and roving desire perverts the innocent mind. Being perfe perfected in a short time, he fulfilled long years, for his soul was pleasing to the Lord. Therefore he took him quickly from the midst of wickedness, yet the people saw and did not understand nor uh, nor take such things to heart that that God's grace and mercy are with with his elect and he watches over his holy ones the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god. god 
Our second reading comes from Acts, the sixth chapter, beginning with the first verse. Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenites murmured against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected by the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good, uh, good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Pecorius, and Nicorno, and Timnon, and Parmesan, and Nicolaus, and a, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostle, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased, and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Today, Christ is born. Today, salvation has appeared. Today, the just exalt and say glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation <coughs> by the forgiveness of their sins. <coughs> In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Today, Christ is born. Today, salvation has appeared. Today, the just exalt and say glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Lord, today we celebrate the entrance of St. Stephen into eternal glory. He died praying for those who killed him. Help us to imitate his goodness and to love our enemies. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not be fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed Lord, be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you for joining Tom and I on this day, this Saturday, the day after Christmas. And I hope you had a blessed Christmas day. And today, I hope you are safe and well. God bless you. Bye-bye.